Oh, hello, everybody. This is Randy Marlowe, and I'm here in Ann Arbor today. I'm going to be talking about modeling rubber and viscoelasticity with abacus. So that is the subject for today. Here's what I sort of look like. I, this is um, a few years ago, but I still kind of look like that. You can see my email address if you want to send me uh, a question afterwards. If you don't get an answer today. <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about today is hyperelasticity material models for hyperelasticity. I will say something about testing, material stability, calibration, and finally, I will say a few things about viscoelasticity. So those are the topics for today. All right, so let's begin by talking about hyperelasticity. And the first thing I'm going to do when talking about uh, material modeling here is to assume that our material is elastic at large deformation and it's instantaneously elastic, meaning that the stress at a particular time depends on the deformation at that time. We also um, assume here that the material is isotropic. So I'm not gonna talk about anisotropic hyperelastic materials today. We do have uh, in uh, Abacus material models for that case, but I'm not going to talk about it today. 